We're going to go back in time, go back into the 1950s, Las Vegas. The photographs I'm going to be showing you are by uh, Billy Jeller. I don't, I don't know who Billy Jeller is. These photographs are from 1955, but before we get to those photographs, I'll show you a few others that may, you may be interested in because it's about the same time frame. This one is of a Catholic school in Las Vegas. Not really sure about the history of it, but I thought I would show it. This picture is of um, Las Vegas. The photographer is Robert Carlson. Not exactly sure what year this is, but it's just a high school, or it's, you know, young football team and a coach. Thought I would include it really quickly before we get to the main subject. And this is a very interesting picture here. This one is by Florian Mitchell. Now this, this photographer was w very well known. The thing about this photographer, Florian Mitchell, he was from New York. Moved to Las Vegas in the 1950s. I find this photograph very interesting. Definitely from the 1950s. Some sort of costume party. Maybe even Halloween party. It gives you a feeling of how Las Vegas was a small town back then. Everybody knew everybody. That's what this video is about. I want to sort of get the point across that up until about the mid, up until about the mid 1980s, Las Vegas always had a small town feel to it. The people who work in, worked in the casinos, everybody knew everybody. And of course, back in 1950, it was everybody really did know everybody. I mean, when Dino, Dean Martin came to town, he really did mingle with the locals. The locals, everybody just knew everybody. Okay, so let's go on to the main pictures. Okay, so I'll just try to go through these real quickly. The photographer, Billy Jeller from the Sahara. I really don't know much about this photographer. But these pictures are from the 1955 Bartender's Ball. Now it was held at a hotel in Las Vegas that not very many people are familiar with, which was called the Shamrock. That's why I'm, I am sharing these pictures, because... Not very many people are familiar with the Shamrock Hotel. And for historical purposes, I thought I would share this group of photographs. This man here actually looks familiar. Can't really put a name on the face, but he does look familiar. I would not be surprised if he was in pictures at one time. Now, most of these people are going to be bartenders. Remember, it's the Bartender's Ball, 1955. I'm assuming that these are bartenders from all over the city. Can you imagine a town like Las Vegas, 1955, where all the bartenders know each other? The bartenders from the Flamingo, down to the Sahara, the Riviera. You get my, you, I think you get my drift. So these are all bartenders, and supposedly they're probably bringing their wives with them, and of course you realize the wives would be cocktail waitresses. People don't realize that when you were a shift boss in Las Vegas, a shift boss or in a casino, you were in, you were in the casino business, you really did go through two or three cocktail wait, waitresses in your lifetime. Most people might find it chauvinistic. But back in the 50s and 60s and 70s, the casino workers, pit bosses, they would literally be married three times and each one would be to a cocktail waitress. Uh, take it for what it is. Because that's, 
This guy looks familiar too. Not sure who that one is. He he would be part of the entertainment. Bartenders. I like this picture here. This guy has your typical Mediterranean Italian look to him. Very handsome guy. You can imagine that he would be the the bartender gigolo back in the 1950s in Las Vegas. Now some of these, I might have some pictures in here that are not from the ball. I'm not sure about that one. Not sure if that's from the ball or not. This one is. Now it looks like they crowned uh, like the queen of the queen of the bartender's ball possibly. This fella here would be part of the band, part of the entertainment band, which I believe I'm, I'm guessing I'm believing the band was a Cuban a Cuban band. We'll get to those pictures later. It says right here, you see, 1955 bartender's ball. Now here's the picture of, I think that is the band, yeah. I'm assuming, I'm just guessing here, I'm assuming Las Vegas was big for Cuban band leaders. And you had all different types of level. I'm just going out on a limb here. I'm guessing that this is a Cuban band that they hired to do the ball. I will not know for sure. Again, pictures of the bartenders and the cocktail waitresses, wives and girlfriends. I believe they were also part of the entertainment. There was probably two groups of people entertaining. You had the country western type singers and possibly the Cuban salsa tango. I'm not sure, I'm going to put that in there. I'm not sure if that's part of the ball or not. But it came with the pictures. Now here we have the proof of where we're at. There you say, it's bartender's ball Monday, the 22nd, at the Hotel Shamrock. Now, we're not sure if the Hotel Shamrock had a casino in 1955. It's very possible that the casino shut down in 53, and they just ran it as a hotel at 55. I, 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 we don't know for sure at this point. What we do know for a fact, with the, with, what the picture proves to us, that the Shamrock Hotel was operational 1955. Was the casino in operation? That I cannot tell you. But there's the proof that the Shamrock Hotel was operational 1955. Now here's another picture. I'm not sure if that's part of the ball or not. But I'm going to throw it in there. I believe she might have been the crowned queen or princess of the ball. I don't know any of the names of these people. The 1950s was a very unique time in America. People were naive and everybody, there were certain groups that had utopia. In many ways, 1950s was a utopia for many groups of Americans. Not so much for other groups, but I'm not going to get philosophical. He looks 
familiar also, this guy. He actually looks like a comedian, which I can't put my finger on him. Now, okay, here's the thing. The pictures I wasn't sure about. The pictures that I wasn't sure about whether they were part of this group was this picture here. It says Fred Barstow. It says 1954 on it. Now, that's stamp. It's just a stamp. But in the picture, it clearly says Bartender Ball there. Now let me get a magnifying glass out and make sure that this is the 1955 one. Let me, let me double check on that. Okay, I think I just figured it out. Here's the thing. The balloons do say March 22nd, Shamrock Hotel, Bartender's Ball. I'm assuming that this batch of pictures I have here are from 54 and 55. So any group of pictures that are by Fred Barstow is going to be from 54 and any of the pictures from 55 are going to be by Geller. So this is Fred Barstow. I'm assuming that this is the bar, this is the bartender's ball from 54. Now this, Billy Geller, we know that this is 55. Again, here's this one says 54. So that's what we have here. We have a group of photos from 1950, uh, one ball from 1954, which is just 54, and the other one would be 55. Which one would that be? To be honest with you, I don't know which one that would be, but he, doesn't he look familiar? Doesn't that guy look familiar to you? Call me crazy. A lot of people who were in show business were in Las Vegas throughout the year. The entertainers. I guess if I had to guess that these, okay, what's that say right there? That says 55, doesn't it? Let me double, let me double check. Okay, I did double check and those definitely, those balloons say 55, as those balloons say 55. So this is the 1955 bartender's ball and you can see that it had two different entertainers. They had the country entertainers and of course that says 55 also and they also had the Cuban salsa band. So there you have it. I hope if somebody knows some of these people that would be amazing. But I'm um, just sharing it as historical photographs, memories from Las Vegas, 1955, and apparently 1954. Bartender's Ball at the Shamrock Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. It was on Main Street. According to my records, according to my research, the casino was only operational from 1951 to 1953. So apparently in 54 and 55, maybe just the hotel was open. I hope you enjoyed it.